Hello, my friends. This is Logan Jacob, and I am here again with another AUM Quick Tips tutorial. Try to make this uh, as fast as possible. So for this one, I want to talk to you about Ableton Link. Now, Ableton Link is a feature that works in AUM and several other apps across the iOS and Mac and Windows universe. And one of the great things about Ableton Link is that it allows apps to communicate with each other wirelessly. So I think the biggest misconception that I hear with Ableton Link is people assume that because it's called Ableton Link that you have to have Ableton to use it. And that is not the case. So the Ableton uh, Link standard has been around for a while now. And what it allows to, us to do is to sync up any apps that also support Ableton Link wirelessly or within the same system. So for today's video, I'm just going to be using it within my iPad. But you can also use Ableton Link to connect to, of course, Ableton on a PC. Uh, or if you have friends with other iPads, you can use Ableton Link as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network to sync across your devices. And it's really handy feature and it's really easy to turn on. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Now I have three apps pulled up here and these are all running in inner app audio. So the first one is uh, one of my favorite synthesizers and this is the Animoog synthesizer. So if I click on it because it's inner app audio, it takes you to that app itself. Um, so if you've not played around with, uh, with Animoog at all, this is what it sounds like. And this is just one of the presets. So it's got a, a pretty cool sound. Um, and I like to run it within AUM and usually when I'm running it within AUM, I'm just sequencing MIDI to it. So I don't really have to worry about the Ableton link feature, but occasionally, uh, I, I do like to use the delay and uh, and when I sync up the delay, I want it to make sure that it's syncing up to the tempo in AUM and not to its own tempo, which is controlled over here. So to do that, I need to enable Ableton Link. Now, of course, all of the apps will have their own Ableton Link um, settings. So just make sure that you've got it enabled in whatever app you're trying to connect. And then go back to AUM and you're going to notice when I turn this on that a little blue bar is going to appear at the top and it's going to tell me what apps have now connected and all three of these are open. So they should all connect at the same time. So I'm going to go over here to my tempo button, which is where a lot of these settings are. And I'm going to click on the three dots and right here it says Ableton link. And I'm going to click on that one and I just have a little, uh, button here to turn it on. So when I turn it on, notice it says three links up at the top there. I hope you caught that before it uh, disappeared. And it also tells me in here it's connected to three peers so that there are three different apps outside of AUM that are all connected now using Ableton link. Now, a couple of things that you need to make sure you, um, turn on. Of course, the in-app notifications, that's up to you. If you're recording your screen and you don't want that blue bar to show up, just turn that off. That's not a big deal. For me, I also like to sync start and stop so that whenever I hit play over here, it does automatically start uh, whatever I have running uh, as well. So it, if I have patterning going, it'll automatically start the loop in patterning, which is pretty handy. All right. A couple other settings there. Uh, I saw a video the other day talking about the sync quantum feature that basically just says uh, how long it takes it to loop back around to connect. You can set that for how many bars you want. And I'll probably do another video later on about that. For now, we're talking about Ableton Link. Now, when Ableton Link is on and enabled, you'll get this little chain link up in the top that lets you know that it is working. So now I've got my tempo going and you notice that I've got my, my scroll bar going through the beats here and I've got it set to one bar quantum. So that's why it's just doing four beats and going back. And if I come over here, this tempo is now synced up with what AUM is using. Now for the, uh, you know, Animoog, you it's kind of hard to tell that, um, and unless you turn on the sync for the delay and then now you'll, you'll be able to tell, um, but where it's really handy is when you start using drum loops and things like that. So of course, patterning two is one of my favorite loop programs. And if I go to the file over here and I need to make sure that Ableton link is enabled. 
okay? And make sure that start stop is connected and everything. Now, what you'll notice is that if I change the tempo over here, it should tell me that Ableton Link is overriding that. So even if I have this tempo set to like 91, it should still be linking to what's going on in my other in AUM that it's linked to. So if I start my pattern, and I have the volume turned down, Now what actually happened there was kind of backwards of what I said. As I changed the tempo and patterning, it actually changed the tempo over here. But now that I'm in this app, if I change this app's tempo, if I go back to 120, then patterning automatically picks that up and will link to it. And notice down here, it shows that patterning's tempo is set to 86.42, uh, but the Ableton link is actually set to 120 BPM. Okay, so those are connected now. We'll go ahead and turn that off for just a second. Um, and third, the other app that I uh, have used occasionally with this is uh, the Launchpad app. Um, this is really handy for those of you that are used to using something like Ableton where you create um, looped sequences and uh, you like to be able to trigger those in a, a pad uh, grid like you would with Ableton. Now, what I have pulled up here is just one of the stock ones. I didn't want to, I don't have a lot of my own personal uh, songs set up in these. Um, I just don't use it very often. I, I would prefer to have a grid like this that's MIDI controlled, um, that's MIDI sequences rather than just audio sequences, but that's a video for another day. So what's handy here is that now when I start these loops, they will automatically be in sync with Ableton. So if I start, these going, they're automatically in sync tempo wise with what's happening over here in AUM. And I notice that it also started my patterning loop whenever I started those, which is pretty handy. So I can use patterning as my drum pattern for this thing instead of having the, you know, capsule drums on there or whatever. I can use, you know, maybe just a uh, you know little lead line or a synth line and that might be handy if you're wanting to if you have several different sets set up and you're doing a long session and maybe you want to come over here and open up a, uh, a different pattern over here to still be able to use an AUM, but you don't want to disrupt your groove. So you can have your groove going over here in AUM and then switch up your pattern here and you don't have to worry about resetting the tempo or anything. It automatically does it. So they're all there. Of course, these are all designed to be played at a slower tempo, but it works. And now I've got all my stuff for the launch pad working. And if I stop, so let's just get some of these going. <laughs> Gnarly indeed. And if I stop over here, it automatically stops all of those loops. And I think we can test this together. I think it'll restart whatever I had going. Nope, it does not. So I do have to go back in and manually restart everything. There may be a setting within Launchpad to be able to change that. I don't know. Um, I don't use Launchpad very often. But So that's kind of the basics of Ableton Link. If you have a computer set up on the same Wi-Fi with Ableton running, of course, it'll sync up with that as well, uh, which is really handy for those of you that like to use your iPad in conjunction with other hardware, uh, with other, you know, computers or laptops or even other iPads or your phone, um, they can all connect together. So Ableton Link is a pretty handy feature inside of AUM. I wish that more apps supported it and I hope that more apps will continue to support it, namely 
Logic Pro. That's one of the ones that I have not been able to get to work with Ableton Link. For some reason, Logic just does not like to talk to Ableton Link. And the same thing with GarageBand for iOS. I think there's some really cool stuff you can do with GarageBand's uh, live loops and as well as Logic. And I would really love to be able to sync those up with AUM over Ableton Link. If anybody knows how to do that, uh, shoot me a comment uh, down there and I would love to learn how. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly longer quick tips tutorial on how to do Ableton Link and I will see you next time. Have a great day.